there, this is Vanessa DeBerle, and today we are going to try to figure out what our purpose is in our job or in our life or just in daily living. Um, my focus, of course, for this video is for you to find your why or your purpose in your business because I want you to be successful and you're not going to be driven unless you understand why you are even doing what you're doing. And any of these questions, however, can be applied to any area of your life when you're trying to find your purpose. So these are four questions that you can ask yourself to help you discover that so that you can hang on to it. So what do we mean by um, finding purpose? Typically, we want to find our why or our purpose because that's what drives us. Think about a time in your life when you were just so razor focused and driven to accomplish a certain goal or a certain mission. You might not have thought about what was behind that drive. You were only maybe looking at what was in front of you, but there had to be some kind of an inner feeling or inner passion that was driving you. Think of the emotions that you might've had when you were pursuing that particular goal right what what was going on inside your body and that's what drives us if you think about it when you're sitting at home and just sitting like a potato on the couch and watching tv i don't know about you but i totally have zero energy when i do that i i just want to zone out and half the time i fall asleep my husband's always going are you even watching yeah yeah i'm watching i just fall asleep because there's you know there's just nothing there you're just sitting there but when i'm doing something that I'm focused on and I'm driven and I have that why behind me, then I stay laser, laser focused. So let me, let's go over four questions that you can ask yourself to help you discover your why. Number one, what makes you come alive? Now we just talked about all those emotions, but what makes you come alive? Now for the sake of this video, let's think about our business, okay? Because that's what my channel is about, helping you build your business. But what makes you get excited when you think about your business? What drives you? What makes you come alive? And some people have different emotions. They may be thinking about, oh, I, I get excited because of all the things that I can do to give back to society. I get excited about thinking about the things that I, I can do with my money to change the world. I do it because how much I love my family and, and how this is going to change our lives. So see that emotion love is in there or that emotion of giving is in there. What emotion is driving you? Do you want to be honest? One of the emotions I don't think that most people think about is anger can drive you. I just had an experience last week in my job that I still hold because I'm not, um, I haven't quit that job yet, but I was in a situation, I'm a lead over several employees and I was in a situation that a, a section of my employees were put on special assignment for something else. I'm not going to say what the job was or any of that. Um, but the point is everything came from people above me, chain of command. Okay. I'm not at the top notch of the business, but I, after the whole thing was over, everybody got, um, torn from what they were doing to have to go do something else. And the reasoning wasn't clear. And to this day, it still isn't, but it's one of those things you just suck up, you do it because you have to, or you might lose your job. You, you find that point where you can't say anything else. And it really made me angry. And the good thing about that anger is it drove me even more to put more effort into what I'm doing here to create something where I don't have to worry about stuff like that. I want to create something that I can have control over that I can even hire people and use their gifts and their talents and, and help them to thrive in what they're doing. I believe in that so immensely with people. I think we're all made differently for a reason, but that anger, I can use that to drive me as well as love or passion or, or all those other things. So I want you to think about your business and what is it that makes you come alive when you're working. Some of you may be at the point where you're making so much money, it's exciting and you know, <laughs> you see a ding, ding, ding coming in. That can drive you, sure. But what comes beyond that even, you know, what are you gonna do with that money? And what, how are you gonna change the world and help other people with their lives? So think about that. That's one question that you can ask. Number two, what are your innate strengths? What strengths do you have that are going to help you be driven in your, in your business? It's going to give you more purpose in your business. Now think about it. If you're doing things that you hate and you don't have the skills and you don't really have to have the skills. Now, 
I'm going to clarify this. There are some things you have to do when you're creating a business and building it that you hate. I mean, that's just part of life, but what are the things that you're doing that you don't have to do that somebody else can do? Does that make sense? So let them do it. And then you focus on your strengths and focus on those things that will help you to grow because you have these innate abilities and these innate strengths. And when you get to use those, it helps you have more purpose in life um, because you get to help other people. Maybe you're good at teaching. Um, maybe you've created a business where you can coach other people. You're maybe a fitness coach. Maybe you've worked really hard. You're, you're in shape and you just want to go out and help other people because you know how it was when you were in their shoes and you just have this gift of being able to encourage people and help them and teach them. And it gives you, it will give you passion. It'll probably help you come alive. It all works together. See how that works. And it's going to help you be more driven and focused in your business. That one is really important. Number three, where do you add the greatest value in what you're doing? And again, if we stick with the, the health and fitness industry, how are you adding value to other people? So just because you're building a business, some of us get so into our computer and we're sitting here all day, you know, just doing things that we're not thinking about the value that we can add to others. And this is going to help you have more drive and more purpose within your business when you share and you help other people and provide value. You hear this all the time with content. And I know when I was new, it was really hard to understand the importance of that content and adding value to other people's lives. But it is so important, not only because you're adding value for them, but it's important to you because you're going to have that more drive because of that satisfaction that you get when you, when you add that value. So it, it's a two way street. The more you give to others, the more you're going to get fed and the more drive you're going to have and the more passion and the more you're going to come alive. It all just works together. And let's go with question number four that you can ask yourself. How will you measure life? Now, what does that mean? What do you stand for? What are your values aligned with? As you build your business and you find that meaning and that purpose in your life with your business, you need to decide what your values are and what you're going to stand for. I know for me, I strive really hard to make sure this is one of my goals that I always want to have integrity with people that I work with. When I give you information, when I share content, when I coach, anything that I'm doing, I want to make sure that I am always honest and that I have integrity and I don't want to ever compromise that. So those are things that are important to me. And those are things that give me more purpose and more drive within my business because I can hang on to those values and, and those um, different things that I take a stand for that have a meaning in my life. So think about what it is you want people to see you for. And, you know, maybe, you know, maybe you want to be measured with, you know, how many things you can buy and the race cars and all that. Some people are like that and that's fine. Those things are important to them. And then that's what you want to show when you're putting yourself out there. Um, other people, that's not important. It might be more important to give to charity and to stand up for the underdog or something like that. So think about who you are and when you start really getting to know yourself and taking a stand for those things that you believe in, it's going to give you more purpose and more drive within your business. And we call this your why. Think about those four questions. Um, I'll put them up here again for you. Um, um, one more time, we'll recap that. Um, go ahead and take a snapshot and think about it. Really put some thought into it and maybe revisit it again. Um, after you've already made some decisions because you're going to grow and you're going to become stronger within those, within your why and your purpose. I hope this was helpful. I know sometimes it's, you know, when we start a business, our why is, well, I want more money. I want to get out of debt. And that's true. We do want that, but it's more than that. And that's what drives you. Because if you just say, I want to run a business and I just want to make money, what are you going to do on those days or those weeks or those months that you're just not making what you thought you would. Um, sometimes getting into affiliate marketing, people believe that they're going to just put some links out there and they're just going to start making all this passive income and they don't have to do anything. It doesn't work like that. There is some work that has to be done. That's one of the truths that I like to share, but 
it gets discouraging if that is your only reason for doing this. So make sure those other reasons align with who you are and you'll still have that drive and that passion and persistence will come with that. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. I will be putting out videos three times a week, just like this one to help you build your business. And thank you for watching today. I'll see you on the next video.